Hello students, you are now going to write the JE main exam. The first thing that you need to consider is to stay focused, stay calm and that is very very important. You see the key to success in any exam is to remain focused and composed and you have done your work till now, you have done your uh, practice so well, you have written the part test and full test and so it is now it is time for you to uh, revise and the revision part is also over actually and then it is now the time to recapitulate. So, what you need to do in the next uh, uh, few days that are left for your exam. For the see basically uh, learning followed by revision followed by recapitulation. Recapitulation is uh, the most the single most important thing before uh, the JE main exam and also the JE any other exam basically uh, JE advanced and so on. So, recapitulation basically is what is that? In the next, we are you are now left with a week or less for your grand day and for that whatever you had learned already you need to you know mentally revise that all the concepts formally your understanding all that you need to revisit it mentally and uh, while you are revisiting the basic points you can just write down in some book or a piece of paper and then if you get something uh, if you think that you get to something where you are not able to recollect it then you can just revise it once and then uh, keep that keep doing that. It's a, it's a good idea every day if you do this even if you are thorough with 50 percent of the subject. Uh, it is uh, for the first attempt uh, you should not be greedy basically if you the last 5 6 days in a hurry you should not try to learn something that you were not strong with. Whatever you are strong with you need to recapitulate that mentally and uh, revisit the formulae concepts and certain methods that are short notes that summary notes that you had made already from that you try to revisit that and see that uh, you remember all of that perfectly well. And another most important thing is students usually uh, uh, burn the late night oil and uh, stay uh, all the night and then sleep at three hours and getting up late and all that. The last one week at least you need to uh, sleep uh, within time and get up early in the morning so that uh, on the day of the exam it become it forms a small habit for you so that you can get up quickly and then get ready and reach the exam hall at least a hour before the de designated time. So that is very very important and uh, see in the exam hall the most important thing is uh, time management and it is very very crucial and uh, make sure you have a strategy of uh, tackling different subjects of the exam. See the strat there are different strategies for different people there is no one hard and fast rule that you should do this let us say some, some people say I will do chemistry first I will do chemi physics next and then, then I will do math some people say that some people say that I will do physics first and then I will do math and then I will go to chemistry it does not matter whichever is convenient for you you can follow that. But one method that you can think of is in the first run let us say in the first after 3 hours that you have maybe in the first 30 to 40 minutes uh, you can run through all the 90 questions of 3 subjects and uh, try to uh, try to answer all those questions that you can uh, you are really sure of. So, it do, you do not have to go by a subject order this is also a strategy being followed by highly successful students. Basically what you can do is you can run through the whole paper and answer those questions which you are really sure of. So that means when you are sure of uh, those questions basically you are not getting any negative marks out of that. So once that in place the confidence level uh, will be uh, at a peak level. Then you attempt those questions which you may require a little thinking and uh, you can do that. And the last say let us say 40 minutes you can uh, mark certain questions which may, you may think who are, which are very difficult and do that. More, more or less mathematics will take definitely more time compared to other two subjects. You need to save some time uh, in physics and chemistry uh, and then 
allocate that to math. So, it requires a lines uh, portion of the time and it is very important. So, that you need to follow. Any strategy that is really convenient for you, uh, you can follow. You do not have to follow what others had followed. There is no one single strategy as far as this is concerned. So, therefore, any one strategy, suppose you are comfortable doing chemistry first and then physics next and then going to math, do that or in any other order you want to do that, you can do that or the order that the method that I told. So, the first 40 minutes or 35 minutes answering about 30, 40 questions out of uh, say 90 questions that you have in front of you, about 30 questions you can answer them in the first 30 to 40 minutes. So, that will basically give you one basic foundation and confidence and then you can at enter into other areas. So, that is one way of doing it and uh, most important thing is uh, you should not uh, neglect your health in the last 4-5 days. So, therefore, uh, eat uh, proper food, take simple hygienic uh, you know that kind of food and uh, make sure that you, are, you sleep well and make sure that you remain calm and focused. Uh, you know, without going into any entertainment or anything like that. Being calm and being in a mood where you are basically uh, neither tensed up or not distracted. So, in that kind of mood you need to put, your, put yourself into and with that focus you need to enter the exam hall. So, that is very, very important. So, now with regard to mathematics, uh, see, these are all the chapters where you can think of getting actually over 80 percent of the marks. If you see the last three, four years question papers and analyze them, you will see that these are the uh, topics where you get a maximum percentage of questions and in fact, it will cover over 80 percent. In fact, if you consider uh, the five, five questions which are extra, uh, out of 30 questions, you need to answer 25 questions. So, when we wrote 80 percent here, it is based on 25 questions, but if you consider uh, based on 30 questions, if you buy, but if, if you consider 25 questions, it can be even more also. So, therefore, uh, these are the chapters where you can score well and uh, more time taking or less time taking is only a function of how good you are with that particular uh, topic. So, within these topics, you do not have to be really, see, you have about uh, uh, 16 topics, 15 topics here. Out of these 15 topics, even if you are good with 10 chapters, your score can be really good. The key is do not make any guess and uh, uh, mark it because uh, not only are you not getting 4 marks, you are also losing 1 mark from what you have earned. So, not getting negative marks is a great achievement in fact in, in an examination of this kind. And uh, so, that is really very important. Of these topics, at least 10 chapters, if you are really strong about, you can still score about 75 percent uh, marks, that is uh, 75 marks out of 100 marks in the ex actual exam. So, getting 75 in JE main is not a ordinary task and it is a good, a good score uh, provided you are good with some 10 chapters of these. Of these certain chapters are really very simple. Basically, in matrices and determinants, you have a topic called system of equations. There are only two concepts there, uh, trivial, non-trivial solution for homogeneous equations, consistency and inconsistency in the case of non-homogeneous equations. So, that is a very simple topic and you can see that you are getting one question all the time. So, therefore, even if you are not strong with that such a small topic, it will take hardly one hour for you to master that even if you are not done till now. So, it, is take, it will take maybe one, one and a half hour for you learn that. So, that can be done and uh, uh, things like let us say mathematical reasoning. Mathematical reasoning is a very simple topic where you definitely get four marks and it is a very simple topic revisit that once. Statistics is a very simple topic where you get four marks one question and definitely you need to revisit that. And binomial theorem. Binomial theorem, they are giving very simple questions on general term. Uh, most, of the, most of the questions, at least, most of the questions is more probable that you get a question on basing on the general term. If you learn general term properly, the, possibly the question on binomial theorem you could answer correctly. 
so like that and uh, and of course there are other topics like simple easy topics like sequences and series or integration and definite integrals and these are all some of these see the question is which topic is easy or which topic is difficult depend it it only depends on how you prepared and uh, how much practice you you had put in already so therefore at least 10 chapters you identify out of this and they are all the, the weightage is almost same here in these 15 topics so you can choose any 10 topics and make sure that you are really strong with that even if suppose you are let us say if someone is strong with nine chapters out of that, it doesn't matter even if there are nine chapters also still you will get about 65 to 70 percent in math so that is what it is so the key once again i want to tell you is not to score negative marks so that is uh, paramount uh, and very important and uh, of course these topics uh, have a lower weightage but still if you are good with some of them make sure that uh, if, you, if you appear some uh, if you uh, see one question you can always attempt that uh, so that's what it is and uh, stay positive believe in yourself and uh, your preparation and make sure especially coordinate geometry integration there are many formulae that you need to clearly remember so you might have already made a list of those formulae revisit them not only re revisiting them by holding a book or a paper in front of you you need to put the paper or book down close your eyes and revisit those formulae and results so that is the key to for uh, our memory to help us in the actual exam it is necessary that we recapitulate so we basically internalize those formulae and concepts so therefore just close your eyes and recall formula after formula after formula after formula so this kind of thing really will help you so uh, this being said i wish you all the very best for this exam and once this is done the very next day you must start working for your je main second exam where definitely you can you can improve uh, by large leaps uh, the, the score that you are supposed to get okay and uh, you, I, I wish you all the very best for this exam and uh, do very well stay focused thank you